Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. My Life Today, a devotional by Ellen White. August 9th, Jesus came to serve. So send I you by grace made strong to triumph or host of hell or darkness death and sin my name to bear and in that name to conquer so send i you my victory to win. Jesus came to serve. Even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister. Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Many feel that it would be a great privilege to visit the scenes of Christ's life on earth, to walk where he trod, to look upon the lake beside which he loved to teach and the hills and valleys on which his eyes so often rested. But we need not go to Nazareth, to Capernaum or to Bethany in order to walk in the steps of Jesus. We shall find his footprints beside the sickbed, in the hovels of poverty, in the crowded alleys of the great city and in every place where there are human hearts in need of consolation. In doing as Jesus did when on earth, we shall walk in his steps. Millions upon millions of human souls ready to perish, bound in chains of ignorance and sin, have never so much as heard of Christ's love for them. Were our condition and theirs to be reversed, What would we desire them to do for us? All this, so far as lies in our power, we are under the most solemn obligation to do for them. Christ's rule of life, by which every one of us must stand or fall in the judgment, is, whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. The Savior has given his precious life in order to establish a church capable of caring for sorrowful, tempted souls. A company of believers may be poor, uneducated and unknown, yet in Christ they may do a work in the home, the neighborhood, the church, and even in the regions beyond, whose results shall be as far-reaching as eternity. It is because this work is neglected that so many young disciples never advance beyond the mere alphabet of Christian experience. The light which was glowing in their own hearts when Jesus spoke to them, thy sins be forgiven thee, they might have kept alive by helping those in need. The restless energy that is so often a source of danger to the young might be directed into channels through which it would flow out in streams of blessing. Self would be forgotten in earnest work to do others good. My Life Today, August 9th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.